Hey guys, welcome to Pillar Greenberg. Greenbird here. Um, thanks for sticking with me. I know that I haven't had a lot of content coming out recently, and you probably have figured out that a lot of the Sunday special uh, points, they were all pre-recorded and kind of planned out. But I've had a lot going on. It's been kind of strange weather, but I am going to get back outside. I'm going to smack some rock and do some fun things. We're going to do some, some stuff other than foot napping, too, so uh, stay tuned for that. But today, I wanted to talk about something that I've kind of been avoiding for a while. I haven't wanted to talk about it. Uh, it's very windy here right now, and I'm really close to the road, so I hope that the sound is acceptable, but uh, if not, I apologize. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is the, you know, the, the elephant in the room, the coronavirus that everyone's all upset about. And um, to me, I feel like, um, yeah, it's affecting a lot of people, but I don't I'm not as paranoid, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't see the reason to panic. Um, and I find it frustrating that I can't go to my grocery store and buy a roll of toilet paper. I, mean, I don't use hand sanitizer anyway. I think it's stupid. But um, not, not saying that you shouldn't if you want to. And if you want to get, you know, send your kids to school with hand sanitizer, that's, that's one thing. But I personally don't use it. I just believe in being a clean human being and washing my hands. Um, but the fact that I can't go to the store and buy toilet paper, uh, I have to look for it, it's just it's ludicrous. I mean, what are these people going to do with six months worth of toilet paper? I don't understand it. Uh, so, let's talk about some sensible things to do, okay? Because people who panic generally fall under two categories. People that are uh, unprepared and people that are uninformed. So, am I saying that you should you know, be one of those preppers that you see on the Discovery Channel that has, you know, 25 years worth of food, you know, crate full of guns and all kinds of crap like that. No. I'm saying, you know, go to the store, buy a couple bags of rice, a couple bags of beans, maybe some, um, well, I'll tell you what I did. I bought a big giant bag of rice. I have um, four bags of beans. I have a bunch of pasta, a bunch of pasta sauce. You know, I'm not preparing for the zombie apocalypse. I'm, a, I'm preparing for if, for some reason, it is suggested that we stay inside for maybe a month, maybe two months, um, because let's face it, it's, it's never going to be longer than that, no matter what. If it's longer than that, we've got way bigger problems, because think about the economy, think about people who are working, who's going to be able to take a month off of work, who's going to be able to pay their employees to take a month off of work, and... Um, you know, that's just not going to happen. If you look at the numbers, and I'm not going to get into the numbers, you can dig into them yourself, but the amount of people infected, the amount of people that have died um, are, I don't want to say insignificant because it's very significant. Any death is more than we need, but it's uh, infinitesimal, it's, no, I'm searching for words here, it's so much smaller than, let's say, the flu, you know, general disease. I mean, death is a guarantee. We're all going to die, right? Um, you know, so I went to the the store the other day. I was looking at looking to buy some toilet paper. Can't find any toilet paper. You know, luckily I stock up on that stuff anyway. That's just kind of how I am. But it occurred to me, what is going through the minds of these people who are stocking up on six months worth of toilet paper? You know, do you really think? You're going to need six months worth of toilet paper. Now, on a side note, I will tell you, toilet paper is one of the best investments you can make because you're always going to use it and it's always going to go up in price. But let's just put that aside um, because people are not buying that as an investment. People are buying it because they're panicking. Um, you know, if you are encouraged to self-quarantine or lock down, it's not going to be for that long. Maybe a month at the absolute most, maybe two months. And if you don't have a food supply or you know other supplies to last you for a month or two then you probably should think about you know how you're purchasing your your necessities and reassess that to accommodate that because that could be anything that could be a job loss that could be a snowstorm that could be anything that that a power outage that's for two or three weeks. I mean, here in Maine, we had a power outage several years ago that lasted five weeks. So, um, to me, I don't understand why there's this big mass hysteria and everybody's buying everything out. You can't find hand sanitizer. and You know, hand sanitizer is overrated anyway. It, 
nothing replaces just being a clean human being, washing your hands when you come in. Um, I do have, I don't know if they're available or not now, but fortunately I had stocked up on some, some Clorox wipes. So I, I always wipe down my steering wheel, my doorknobs, things like that. I mean, that's just what I do on a daily basis anyway uh, to pre protect myself from things that are even more of a threat, like the flu, uh, different viruses, you know. So the fact that this coronavirus is creating such an uproar is just it's disturbing to me. So let's move beyond that. So what, what should you do? Should you panic? Should you go out there? I mean, I know there are a lot of people that watch my channel. They probably have, they're preppers. They probably have 25, 30 years worth of food in their basement. And that's cool. Good for you. Good for you, man. But um, if you can't do that, just do something very simple and reasonable. Go buy a five pound bag of rice, maybe two if you have a big family, some tomato sauce, a couple bags of beans. Just get ready to hunker down for like a week or two, maybe a month at the most. So, and the, the, um, the population that's being most greatly affected by this virus is unfortunately the elderly. So, um, I would say if you're one of those people that you've hoarded all this hand sanitizer and all this other stuff, I would say go to your local nursing home if they don't have hand sanitizer or go to your, your elderly relatives and, and give it to them. They're the ones who need it. You can wash your hands. Even if you get the coronavirus, you'll probably fight it off. It's the elderly that really, really need uh, those supplies. And for all you people who are looking for masks, you're doing it all wrong. The masks do not protect you. They protect the other people if you have the virus. So if you're coughing and you're coughing up corona everywhere, then yeah, the mask is going to help the people around you, but you having the mask is not going to help you because think about it. You're not, you may, it is possible to get it through airborne uh, exposure, but think about it. They cough on the mask. You get, eventually, you have to take the mask off. You've got your clothes on. You've got to touch your clothes. You, know, you went to the grocery store. You bought a box of cereal. You're touching all this stuff. You know That's how you're going to get it. It's not, that, that mask is not going to protect you. It's false security. So uh, be smart and do some research and really look into how you can protect yourself because the fact of the matter is that this is not as extreme as the media wants you to think. And, um, you know, it could have to do with a lot of different things. I know it's an election year. I don't, I don't, I don't buy into any of that political BS. But um, be smart. Do your research. And just be a clean human being. Wash your hands when you come in. Wash your car. Wash your doorknobs. And be cognizant of where you are. And for the love of God, don't hoard six months worth of toilet paper. All right? That's all I got. Pelia Greenberg signing out.